after submitting your university applications, you'll receive a response, either a rejection or an offer letter. But have you ever wondered what those offer letters from UK universities really mean? Hello and welcome back to our channel, where we empower students, parents, and school counselors to make informed decisions about higher education admissions. Today, we're looking into a crucial topic that every student faces during the university application process, and that is receiving a university offer letter. You've probably come across the terms conditional and unconditional offers or even rejection, but what do they actually mean? Stick around to find out what these official letters mean and how they can shape your university admission journey. Before we get into talking about the difference between conditional and unconditional offers, let's first understand what an offer letter actually is. When you apply to a university, their admission team would review your application and typically responds with one of the two outcomes in a formal letter. This letter outlines whether or not you've been accepted and under what conditions, if any. If you're successful, you would receive an offer letter, otherwise, in some cases, a rejection. Offer letters are essentially the university's way of saying, we're interested in you, but here's what's needed to happen next. It's your formal invitation to join the institution, pending certain criteria, or in some cases, with no strings attached. A conditional offer letter is an invitation from a university that depends on you meeting specific requirements. These could include achieving certain grades, completing required courses, or submitting additional documents, and at times even paying a deposit. Receiving a conditional offer can feel like a second chance. It means the university is interested in you, but there's still work to be done. The idea here is to focus on fulfilling those requirements and you'll be on your way to an acceptance and hopefully enrollment. On the other hand, an unconditional offer letter means you've already met all the admission criteria. The university has reviewed your application and is excited to welcome you without any further conditions. Receiving an unconditional offer is a huge achievement. So congratulations. You can accept this offer confidently knowing your spot in the program is secured. In summary, understanding the differences between conditional and unconditional offer letters is vital for your admission journey. Knowing can help you navigate your options and plan your next steps effectively. If you have any questions about the UK university admissions process or need personalized guidance to help you make informed decisions and to navigate the entire admission process with confidence, head over to our website and book a discovery call to get tailored advice on everything from writing personal statements to selecting the right university or courses for your future. You can find the link in the description below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click that bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video filled with valuable insights to support you on your university admission journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.